okay so welcome back so in our jenkins series today we are going to see few of the jenkins reporting and uh, how do we publish the selenium uh, html report or how do we uh, kind of uh, archive the artifacts in terms of html into the jenkins builds so that uh, in future you can go back to your previous executions or previous runs and see the test result now this is basically helpful to uh, analyze the test result whenever there is a failure or any kind of configuration issues with your project okay so let's get started so for the fir first thing we will see one of the default uh, feature of the jenkins that is archive to artifacts okay so it means that we need to archive certain artifacts so that we can refer that in future so for this what i will do first thing i will create a new item and i will say jenkins report and then i will create a maven project okay and then let's click on okay and we already know about these things what we are going to do and for this let me go to my github project which we were seeing it's a sample selenium framework so if i go oops it was the same one only and if you see it's a basic test ng xml where two tests are there and then i have uh, a pom.xml if you see this contains a plugin surefire plugin which contains the test ng xml path so whenever i will run this particular test it will execute the two tests that are mentioned inside the test ng dot xml okay so for this i was just doing some practice and i have updated few of this stuff let me first make it as a pass so give me a moment let me just update the test case and this is the one and edit it and then let's go back to this one to make it pass i need to enter six and then that's it let it be like that and then we all know what to do we have to go to this project root directory let's go to the code and control c copy it okay and then here i need to provide the path uh, the credentials and we already know where to set up this one and it is under the master branch okay now because it the pom.xml is on the root directory of this particular project i'm not providing any path and then let's give the goal as a test no more parameterization if you want to learn about parameterization you can go back to my jenkins series you will get to know more details okay so now for reporting so when do we get the report actually jenkins report or selenium report after running the test right and that is basically in jenkins the stage is after the post build action so at the post build action means after the jenkins build is done and here you will see one of the option that comes by default archive the artifact and here i need to provide the path of that particular what you call project actually so there are two reports which is generating this project okay one is the extent report and another is the html report that is coming from the test ng dot uh, test ng library right that is emailable report so for this let me go to my code because i have did a git ignore of target folder so i won't be getting and let me open my project in my local drive just to show you that and if you come here let's go to this project and if you see let's close everything and if you go here so under the target folder there is a surefire uh, sorry not this one surefire reports under this we have this emailable hyphen report so this is one report and another report is coming under this extent test report as well so let's try to publish one of them so let me right click copy the path oops sorry copy path uh, you know what uh, let's copy this file name itself only and here i will say the name of that report html so i will say e to e so it should be e to e and then test report test report the exact name of that particular report test report dot html now what this will do this will basically this html report will be attached to your particular build now just if i go to my the help document it says that you can even use the wildcards okay like the starts 
and then you can separate multiple files if you want to archive that by using a comma separated and then another important thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that the base directory always starts from your workspace. Workspace means Jenkins workspace, not your local workspace. Okay. So if you are running the code base from your local, then archive to artifact will not work if you are giving your local folder path. Okay. So that is one thing you need to keep in mind. Now, so let's do one thing. Let's even include the other one also. So that is coming under the target so i will say target and then slash and it is surefire reports surefire oops where am i typing surefire hyphen reports hyphen sorry slash emailable report dot html let me just check the so surefire hyphen reports and then emailable report emailable hyphen report so emailable hyphen report so at this moment uh, this this html is not yet generated because it has to go through step by step first step it will download the code base from the github the next thing it will build this one and then run this particular goal means running the test then this html files will be generated which it will be showing or attached to the existing build let's save this one and then go to this build now if everything goes well then this will show me an artifact here actually into this particular build so here you can see on the back end the tests are executing okay so now if i go to this report you can see there are two more two reports generated actually one is e2e test report.html and emailable report so if i click on this one you guys already know about this all the because it is passed no exception it is showing and then if you go to if you go to why the back is not going yes and you can see the e the extend report.html only so it is not limited to these two kinds of report if you have any customized html report also you can add it by using comma separated even you can attach the log files as well so that is one of the good feature of this uh, successful artifact uh, feature actually okay another thing to note sometimes this particular report when you click on this one this might not come as a good visualization the problem is that the css files by default are not loading properly because of um, uh, one of the uh, so let me just get that name the recent versions of the Jenkins if you have installed you have to configure the content security policy actually and where it is disabling few of the loading of few of the files so for this if you go to uh, this one here it is telling that we need to adjust the content security policies and it doesn't provide you exactly what we need to do but one of this is that you can set the system dot set property and here you can see if you are on windows you can use this particular command so normally what we do java hyphen jar and jenkins dot, uh, dot war we are giving right but you have to give this particular herson model directory browser support and csp which will allow everything actually so for setting things which is very difficult right every time to pop up the uh, and run this particular command so what we normally do there is another option actually you can go to the manage jenkins you can go to the script console and it should be you have to go to the Jenkins manage Jenkins script console and if you come here here you can actually execute that particular script okay so for this let me open a notepad and let me show you there so here let me copy paste that particular script so I have here two kinds of uh, what do you call things are there which you can run let me maximize this one okay so this i will share this particular commands also so what you have to do this first two lines first you need to run here and then click on run sometimes if that is not working then you can just use this second command okay you have to just type it uh, or you can copy paste here and click on run you will see result and the, an empty result actually then what you can do you can go back and create a new build actually once you get the new build all the css file whatever dependencies are there will be loaded properly so that is one of the workaround you can do that 
okay so that is about your uh, what do you call this particular archive to artifact there is again another feature what is the problem here okay no problem let it be like this okay another thing is that you can even uh, what do you call install few of the plugins also so there is one plugin called as a html publisher also which does the same thing only so i will just explain all the different things that i came across and depending on your requirement you can use it whenever you need so you have to go to this plugin manager and here you need to search like this html publisher and you will get this particular option and you can say install without restarting so this will populate a new option in your post build action which we can use okay so html publisher got installed now if you go to this particular project and go to the configure and if you go inside and in the post build action you will get one new uh, option that is publish html report and if you click on this add you will get one html directory to archive so i have to give this particular path okay and then i have to give the name of this particular html actually and here and then i can rename or i can keep as it is so i'm just giving the title as html underscore report and then if i click on this save button and then let's click on this build now it will again rerun the same project but here another option we will get okay so it's all executed successfully if i click on or refresh this one you will see a new option generated that is html underscore report along with your artifacts so if i click on this one you will see the same report only it is just a uh, in a link actually attached to the existing one so you can just refer so depending on each build you will see okay and then you can just go to the project and you will just click on this one you will get along with your artifacts so that is and it is not limited to this particular html you can just include any of the you can just add and another uh, what do you call another path you can give like we were giving this emailable report or you can even publish your customized report as well you can even delete by clicking on this close button okay so that is how different options you can do that and so this is about how you can attach the report actually to the build but we can we have some more options where we can analyze the report also so now here if you see there is a default test result trend is coming where i have only two builds and you can see first build and second build these two got past actually that's why the graph is uh, flat actually but if you are uh, failing any kind of test cases then you will see some failures as well so the graph will be changing as your test result before we will be looking into a failing scenario let's go again uh, let's go and install another uh, another plugin actually so that is uh, uh, sorry let's go to this available and analyzer report actually so there is a analyzer report test analyzer test results analyzer sorry for that so test results analyzer click on this install without restart i don't know why this is coming but let's just wait and see if it is successfully done yes you can see here test results analyzer okay if i restart these previous things will go but yes you can see test result analyzer is successfully installed now to verify that i can go back to my existing project and you can see there is a test result analyzer one option generated actually here if i click on this one it will show me history of all the tests that i have run like how many builds i have actually like you you can see first build all the test cases got passed if i click on this one it will show you all the tests individual test if i click on this one individual methods and then individual output whether the test case is passed or failed so this is one of the handy feature you can get it whenever you are executing your uh, test cases because in now it is only one or two tests so you can just identify whether the test case got passed or failed but in real time when you are executing 100 to 200 of test cases then this result test result analyzer will really helpful for you okay so let's do one thing 
let me go back to this project and let me fail something here so give me a moment I want to make a, a particular test fail and here I'll just edit here itself and let's make this one is 5 so that's so that this test case will fail okay so just a simple test case actually which will fail the same thing only nothing will change as usual make sure that your test result analyzer is installed let me do a build now and it will run the test case okay so as you can see the test case should have failed and let's refresh this one and here you can see the third build got failed if I mouse over this one you can see there is one passed one failed and if you go to this test analyzer you will see a new build appeared here if you click on this failed it will show you the graph and if you go inside this failed test it will even show you the exception that have occurred actually okay it uh, it was uh, expecting six but uh, sorry it was expecting five but got six that's why it got failed and you will see the list of all the tests that you are running okay so this is really a handy feature you can even use so there are three different kind of reportings we have seen one is archive to artifact another is your test uh, html publisher report and another is your test results analyzer okay and uh, one more thing if you are using java these are straightforward things like artifact this option is not limited to a particular language you can use any kind of uh, what you call html that is generating in your framework you have to just give that path actually html report is again the same thing it is not limiting to any kind of uh, what you call programming language whether you are using python java or c sharp you will have definitely one html reports generating okay test results analyzer as i have in, uh, looked inside this it is basically waiting for the unit testing frameworks that we are using in this case i am using test ng if you are using n unit n unit will have again another report unit library if you are using n unit you can just uh, install the report unit library and this test and an results analyzer will work actually so i was looking into the documentation of this test result analyzer so it is looking for two different things one is a test ng and j unit now the n unit internally it uses uh, uses the j unit actually to populate the report so that's why even the same uh, what you call plugin you can use with selenium and c sharp also okay so that's pretty much about the Jenkins reporting hope this will help you guys uh, do practice and let me know if you are encountering any good reporting plugins or if you are encountering any other options that we can have a discussion okay so that's pretty much it for today uh, hope this helps thank you for watching